If you have an open wound, mm -hmm. you should use alcohol or hydrogen peroxide to clean it out. True or false? Oh. That's why I said the third one's for you. So even if it was a head wound, would you do this? That's the question. A wound on the body. That's all I'm going to say. False. Whoa. Well, what did you... Okay, hold on for a second. Put it down. Thank you. What did you clean yours out? Your son... I cleaned it with water. <laughs> That's the answer. That's the right That's answer. That's the answer. See? Yo! So, so, so no! ladies, I hope you're watching, baby, because I did the right thing. So, so the, the, the answer is you don't use hydrogen peroxide or alcohol. Now, our grandparents and parents used to do that. And the reason why they did that was because it actually kills the bacteria. The problem is it's also killing the healthy cells around oh, the wound. Oh, that are trying to That's heal right. the wound. And that delays the wow. healing. So you don't want to use hydrogen peroxide or Good alcohol. Good on you. But you do use water. You, so you clean it out with water. You take the tweezers. Uh -huh. and you use alcohol for the tweezers, make sure the te tweezers are clean, and then you take out large bits of debris, rinse it with the water, and then you take some soap and water. This is our soap, mild soap. You take some mild soap and water like so, okay? You mix it up like this, and then you wanna make sure you clean around the wound. You don't want to get the soap in the wound because it becomes more of an irritant. Gotcha. So that is the key. So it's and no, then you it's, bandage it. If, if some, some cases you can bandage it, some cases not. Depends on how deep the wound is. Um, and then that happens, okay? And to stop bleeding, do you raise your... Do well, you elevate or well, what? It's really about compression. Gotcha. And you want to apply enough pressure so that the clotting cascade can occur. Gotcha. So it's more um, um, clotting than it is and pressure. If you have a bee sting... Ah you should scrape off the stinger. True or false? Mostly what do you see? Mostly 50-50? Most, oh, well, it's actually 50-50. OK. The answer is? True. That's well, true. I'm, I'm, I'm allergic to bees. You have to get the stinger out. Oh, good. But actually, for me, it's more important that I have the little red kit that keeps me from dying. Yes. <laughs> we're going to talk about that, too, by the way. We're talk about that. So the answer is actually true. And here's the key you want to get it out as quickly as possible. So you want to get the stinger out as quick as you can scrape it with your fingernail. You know, people spend time going through their wallet looking for a credit card. If it's available, yes. Anything to scrape We're it off. In my husband's case, for his needle nose as opposed to the other tweezers. That's right, that's right. Well, speaking of <laughs> tweezers, actually, you don't want to use tweezers. Ah! Because... Bacteria. Because, well, no, not yet. That's coming up. Uh, because with tweezers, if you squeeze it, you'll release more venom ah. from the stinger. Ew. So you do not use tweezers Here's in this John, case. You were doing it all wrong. <laughs> so, so what we want to do is we want to make sure we don't use tweezers. But you can do things to reduce some of the swelling. So you can use an old-fashioned ice pack mm -hmm. after after it's done, and you use baking soda is good for almost anything. Yeah, Teeth I agree. whitening, Teeth you know, whitening, smell, you know, deodorizer. Up, uh, wounds. Yes. Drawing out liquids. Yep. So okay, so you take one part baking soda, about a tablespoon, about a tablespoon of water. You mix it in you like this, paste. and yep. you make a little paste. And you just apply the paste to the wound, okay? And where, the, where the stinger was, and that's not a problem. And the other thing you can do is, of course, over-the-counter acetaminophen or ibuprofen is completely fine to take it. Okay, now, Rach, you said that sometimes you have a bad allergy to bee stings. Yeah, I'm allergic to bee stings and penicillin. And that is very key. So something called anaphylaxis, which is a severe reaction to bee stings, occurs for some people. Here are some signs of anaphylaxis. Dizziness, red face, panic, slurred speech, severe pain, and congestion. If you experience one or more of these symptoms, call 911 or go to your doctor right away because this is a case where you better be safe than sorry. Yeah, and they can give you little kits for this to help you Absolutely. if you get a bee sting. Absolutely, yeah. and so once you do that, you know if you have an allergy, you always know how to respond to it. Good.